Good evening, friends. Sorry that we started a couple minutes late. You know, the last seven minutes at our house have been quite amusing, <laughs> for lack of a better word. But it, it continually both amazes and amuses me how much the enemy tries to um, get in the way of good things happening. Because everything was all good, and then all of a sudden the printer didn't work for the notes, and then we couldn't find a battery, and then... But, you know, it's all good, and we are grateful. So, <laughs> happy Sunday. Welcome to Sunday Night Praise. This is week 35, if you can believe it. And it is Thanksgiving week. So, tonight will be all about Thanksgiving, which is one of my favorite words. And mo many of us have been sharing all month long on social media things that we are thankful for. And I would encourage you to continue to do that, even if you haven't started yet. It's November 22nd, and it's never too late to develop a heart attitude of gratitude. Well, I want to start with um, the same verse in two different versions. Psalm 34, verses 1 to 3 from the Living Bible says, I will praise the Lord no matter what happens. I will constantly speak of his glories and grace. I will boast of all his kindness to me. Let all who are discouraged take heart. Let us praise the Lord together and exalt his name. Well, that same uh, passage in the Amplified Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. The humble and downtrodden will hear it and rejoice. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. So uh, throughout the next 50 minutes or so, we're going to sing many people's favorite Thanksgiving songs. I put a little poll on Facebook earlier today and asked people their favorite songs, and almost every single one of them that was mentioned is in the order tonight. Some of them came in a little too late for me to get rearranged, but almost everyone is there, including one verse of one song in Swedish. So Lisa Landerdahl, I hope you're watching. <laughs> Psalm 118.24 says, This is the day which the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. That is uh, my pastor at Zion's, his favorite verse. We say that at the beginning of every service. So uh, I hope that you are rejoicing with us as we start with, This is the day, and I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. Thanksgiving him, let all things now living. Psalm 150 verse 6 says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let all things now living a song of thanksgiving to God the creator triumphantly raise. 
chapter in Ezra to find out who was praising and thanksgiving, but I just love the verse. With praise and thanksgiving, they sang to the Lord, and tonight, with praise and thanksgiving, we shall sing to the Lord. Come, ye thankful people, come. Let us all be thankful tonight. 
Well, Philippians 4, 4 and 5 from the Amplified Version says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Delight and take pleasure in him. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentle spirit, your graciousness, unselfishness, mercy, tolerance, and patience be known to all people. The Lord is near. Rejoice, ye pure in heart. Another great hymn of faith. There's a lot of verses. I don't think we want to sing all five of them. I know some of you have your hymnals open. Uh, rejoice, ye pure in heart. Let's do... Um, well, I'll just tell you when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, and five. <laughs> earlier, Lisa Landerdahl asked if we could sing this song, and she said she would especially love it if there was a little Swedish. So, I'm going to do one verse in Swedish for all the Swedes out there. If you're Swedish, you know, put, put a heart or something in the comments so I know that you're loving this, and if you're not Swedish, it's just, it's a pretty language, and you can enjoy this verse. So, I'm going to do the first verse in Swedish, and then we're going to sing all three verses of this beautiful Thanksgiving hymn.
that reminds me of this song, Ephesians 5, 19 and 20. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And if you're just signing in or you haven't noticed the theme yet, it is definitely Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving week, and we are focusing tonight on songs of praise and thanksgiving for our Heavenly Father, for the cross, for the love, forgiveness, and some of these hymns, like that last one, Thanks to God, just list so many things we're thankful for. And if you are so moved tonight, it would be a blessing to all of us watching and singing along if you would share something in the comments that you are thankful for. I try very hard to share something every morning, especially in November, that I'm thankful for. And then at the end of the day, to share several things, beautiful moments that have happened today just because of our circumstances, not in spite of but because. And some of you, if you are perfectionists, like I have those tendencies, you might be thinking, well, it's November 22nd, and if I didn't start on November 1st, it's too late. But it is never too late. It is never too late to be thankful, to have gratitude, and to encourage each other with our thanksgiving. So share something tonight that you are thankful for. I am especially thankful at this specific moment that my husband is brilliant and got my printer to work moments before we went live tonight so that I have my notes. <laughs> Otherwise, it might have been a very different praise evening. Um, well, this is the one you're going to play the drum on. Oh, it is? Yes. Well, gosh. <laughs> you know, Jim is a man of so many talents, and uh, you often just see him and hear him behind the piano on his bass, but... He can also play the drums, so he brought out our John Bay tonight to just add a little rhythm to this great hymn, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. <laughs> Go. Like 
such depth in their lyrics. And uh, if you are looking for a, a new way to uh, refresh your quiet time or your personal time, I challenge you to, if you have a hymnal, pull out a hymnal or look up some of these old hymns and just go through verse by verse because each verse is really a sermon in and of itself. You know, the last verse of the song that we just sang, O oh, to grace, how great a debtor. I am in debt to grace. Daily I am constrained to be. Let thy goodness, like a fetter, like chains, bind my wandering heart to thee. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. I am prone to leave the God I love. But here's my heart. Oh, take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. What wonderful words. And how, what a blessing really to know that um, in, in all of lifetime, in all of hymnology, that there were people that felt the same way that we feel today. People that were discouraged in that moment, that people that loved the Lord with all their heart and soul and mind and still found themselves prone to wander, prone to be discouraged, to, to be anxious, to be hopeless. But the, the closing sentence, here's my heart, oh, take and seal it, seal it to thy courts above. Now, I want to come a little closer to you and read you a quote that I, I shared on Facebook a couple days ago. I wish that I knew to whom the credit belongs for this quote. I searched for quite a while today and I found the quote everywhere, but no one really had real... Um, credit for it. So this is anonymous to the best of my knowledge. It says, a beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset. When you wake up, take a second to think about what a privilege it is to simply be alive and healthy. The moment you start acting like life is a blessing, I assure you, it will start to feel like one. Time spent appreciating is time worth living. That is so true. The beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset and time spent appreciating is time worth living. Well, this next song uh, is a medley I put together um, for this praise night back in May, I think, and I, it seemed worth pulling out again. It's a, a medley of the old hymn, Count Your Blessings, and the Irving Berlin song, Count Your Blessings. So they, they weave together nicely and they remind us again to have that thankful mindset that when we start and end our day being thankful, and I even, I wrote out my, my little journal, my thankful journal that I must be completely honest, I haven't written in it all this month because I've been writing it all in my prayer journal and, and writing it on Facebook, but I keep it out every day just to remind me to be thankful. And you know, I get such, such a blessing by going back and reading years past the things that I shared. So when we start the day thankful and end the day thankful, it often helps us put aside the other things, the cares of the day that, that are not gone. But when we set our hearts and minds and we fix them on the things above and we have that attitude of gratitude toward our Heavenly Father, it is amazing the peace that God gives us. Count your blessings, name them one. Sweet. 
through these 35 weeks of praising together about that habit of rewriting the scriptures and personalizing them and taking them in and putting in there the things that, that you need to hear specifically at that moment. Set your mind and keep focused habitually on things above, the heavenly things, not on the things that are on the earth. And then I challenge you to take your own pencil and paper and write in all of those things that constantly keep your mind in knots. And we go back to count your blessings. Because when you are worried and you can't sleep, if you count your blessings instead of sheep, you will fall asleep counting your blessings. Psalm 118.1, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. For his loving kindness endures forever. Probably one of the most favorite um, contemporary songs for Thanksgiving, Give Thanks. i 
as we lay down our lives in absolute surrender, filled with awe. This is another great chorus from the early 1990s called, I'm Forever Grateful. I'm forever grateful to you. I'm forever grateful for the cross. I'm forever grateful to you that you came to seek and to save the lost. Yourself with frail humanity. 
cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you all that God is to you. He is indescribable, and his gifts and promises throughout his word are indescribable. Thank you, Lord. This great chorus. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation, so rich and free.
Colossians 4.2 says, Be persistent and devoted to prayer. Being alert and focused in your prayer life with an attitude of thanksgiving. Be persistent and devoted to prayer. Being alert and focused in your prayer life with an attitude of thanksgiving. Jesus, we just want to thank you. or share it with someone that is with you. It's this beautiful week of Thanksgiving, and even though everything around us is saying, thank you, thank you, we're to be thankful and happy, devote ourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful, we are still keenly aware that there are people amongst our midst tonight that are grieving deeply and that have heavy weights. And personally, the past two days, a, a dear friend of mine lost her mother, and another dear friend of mine lost their son yesterday, uh, a coach and teacher in Belvedere. And in the midst of all this thanks and praise, my heart is aching and grieving with these dear people. But the Bible tells us that we are still to give thanks in all circumstances at all times. And it is often the act of giving thanks that brings the healing and the comfort to our hearts. So before we close tonight, I'm so surprised that not a single person wrote this hymn today on the Facebook poll. But this is my favorite Thanksgiving hymn. It's probably my favorite hymn in general anyway. But great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. And as we pray tonight for the families of those, and maybe you are watching, and you are grieving the loss of someone close to you right now, holidays can be the hardest days. So we are praying for you, and let us, let us sing this great hymn of faith together, because we can be thankful that God is faithful.
Jesus, the Anointed One, and bring your constant praise to God the Father because of what Christ has done for you. And one of my dear friends, Jonathan Deku, wrote that this was his favorite Thanksgiving song, The Doxology, and it seems very fitting. And, you know, you are, our families, the Beach family and the Deku family, usually spend Thanksgiving together, and because of what's happening in our world, that's not possible this year, but we will be together in spirit. And when we are together in person, our families sing together in four-part harmony, this beautiful hymn. So I hope that wherever you are, you are harmonizing, and I will hear it and feel it in my hearts. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Happy Thanksgiving to you, and we'll see you next week for the first week of Advent. <laughs>